Alright guys, so surprisingly a lot of people do not know what Bloom is in this game or any game and I did not mean to do that. Bloom is the radius where your bullet can travel where you shoot your weapon and it can go in pretty much any direction as long as it's within that die and four lines that are in the middle of your screen. Pretty much any area that these uh, things right here, so alright you got the dot in the middle, you got the four lines, this little circle area is any place that the bullet can travel when you shoot your weapon so if you shoot this bullet right here it can hit the right shoulder the left shoulder the top of the head or down below and there's certain things that you can do to decrease your bloom and make you even more precise in hitting shots so a few of you obviously know this by putting hip fire attachments hip fire attachments uh they just make the bloom smaller and you can be able to just hit more shots but i don't want to be cheesy and then just throw like oh you know just make some hip fire attachments and you'll decrease your bloom no there's other ways that you can actually decrease your bloom that are less obvious one of it is doing the ads tapping or whatever you call it but there's a lot of uh, good players where they pull up to a person and somebody's right here and you can either ads or you can hit fire but they do something completely different and that's i think i call it ads strafing before so i pull up on the person and i'm like Okay, so I'm tap firing. I'm kind of tapping this over and over and it decreases the bloom even more, but it's not giving me the penalty of aiming down sights where I can barely move. I'm having the speed of going left and right, but I'm able to aim almost just as far because I'm doing that move. So it pulls the person. It is kind of harder to do it while you're jumping, so if you if you want to get the most out of it, you should probably not jump. You should probably just do it just like that. But that is one of the main ways that you can decrease this bloom and have a lesser area of effect to be able to hit more of your shots. That's also like quick scoping. A lot of people, when they learn how to quick scope, they do a horrible job because they're thinking, oh, I have a sniper right here, and I'm just gonna go. They think this is quick scoping. And what you're doing right there is you're decreasing the bloom but look as i'm going around here the bloom is still heavy when people really quick scope they make sure they have zero bloom and then they shoot so they go like they don't do like it's super fast where they have a lot of them they wait till they have zero bloom and then they shoot right there so that is one of the ways that you can decrease this bloom so another way of actually decreasing this bloom is getting high ground and i want to explain that pretty much on how I talked about if you have the high ground, there's a higher chance for you to hit more headshots. So if I'm aiming down at a person, then the bloom is gonna be a lot smaller, even if like it's the same, um, even if it's like the same exact range or radius of that bloom, it's still gonna be a lot less of a bloom, being that you're gonna have more of the body covered. So if a person is standing upright, uh, let me pull up the thing again. So pulling up like this Iska right here, this person is standing upright. So they have this kind of slender body where you can still be able to track them really well. But if you see like even this right here, I'm not aimed exactly on their body and half of their body is outside of this radius where I can shoot. And even looking at this right here, right? I just showed an example of somebody standing upright. This person is below me and I can pretty much have his entire body inside of that bloom that area of effect of me shooting being that his body is kind of exposed like this and it's easier for me to track the chest and the head a lot better than i could do before so i do think that what i said was kind of confusing even for me to say it i'm trying my best to explain it but i think this will probably break it down even easier so look at this this is a square right imagine if you're aiming at a square you're only going to be able to aim at these sides so back up from the square just just back up a little bit and start going a little bit up you know like place the square lower you and allow yourself to be able to see the upper parts of the square and not just the face of it and you would see a three-dimensional cube of that same square or this is probably like a better picture so you're slightly above it and you can kind of see this part here this part here this part right here and it kind of gives an easier picture and you can be able to hit boom 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 all of this instead of being able to hit just the face right here. So back to the example, if I was doing the Iskra, 
right here we got that face that center straight up face where i can only see one part right there that also makes the bloom a lot harder for it to be useful to your benefit because you'll have less of an area to hit whereas right here the bloom could be a lot more beneficial because you can see the top of it and the bloom is going to be more geared towards other parts of his body like his shoulder his head his chest instead of just being able to see the chest and the head um straight up and i think that reducing the possibility of hitting the legs and lower is really going to help you use that bloom to your benefit and hit more shots that actually matter the chest and the head overall all right, so right now I'm going to show you three different examples. I'm going to show you where all the enemies are inside your bloom, where you don't have to actually aim in sights at all. Uh, I'm going to show you an example of where I'm going to be shooting somebody while I'm using a little bit of bloom, and then I transition to using zero bloom. And then I'm going to show you finally where I use zero bloom at all. So the first one, I'm using no bloom at all from the ADS, only the hip fire, but I'm still able to capture the torso upwards from every single part of the guy's body. And this is mainly used with SMGs. So right here, shooting at the guy, it's just ADSing like that. But then if you look at this kill right here, right? I slide cancel and all of his body is inside of this little area of effect. So I don't need to aim in sights at all because this entire piece of his body is captured inside of that area of effect. Down him there, switch to this guy, same thing. I don't need ADS at all because the bloom is big enough. I start losing a little piece of his body and then I start ADSing just because I lose a little piece. But if I don't lose any piece of his body, there's no need to ADS. Got him right there, so I cancel up here. I don't need an ADS at all because the bloom is good enough for me to have a lot of movement and able to shoot at his entire body right there. So I was able to keep his entire area of his body inside of that bloom, meaning I didn't have to ADS one time. So right here, you're gonna see that I decreased my bloom a little bit, just enough to be able to hit all my shots. And this is really good for ARs where you can kind of use a little bit of bloom and then you can transition it into zero bloom while being able to maintain all your shots and just getting the most available bullets possible in a situation. So it is a little hard to see, but right here, you can see that as soon as I shoot my bullet, as soon as I shoot my bullet, I'm not even fully ADS'd. So right there, I shot and I wasn't in my fully ADS form and it still was able to hit him. It was that extra little bullet that the bloom actually gave me. So this is, gonna give you just a boom see that small extra bullet and then i was able to track him all the way so it is kind of hard to see uh maybe if i had like a bigger radius gun that didn't have such a big scope on it or if i had an iron sight you can kind of see that a little bit easier it is pretty hard to see but again if you if you see super closely i wasn't even fully ads in when i shot that shot and then that gave me the extra bullet. And then over here is when these people are kind of in the sky. So I have to shoot immediately when I am fully ads in. So right here, fully ads in. And then I start shooting. Or even down here, I shoot a guy right here. I see that, okay, the bloom is not going to be great at all because he's way too far away. He's going to be a super small target. So I ads first and then I challenge him. I ADS first and then I challenge him because I know that I'm going to need the zero bloom being that his hitbox is extremely small and I have to really pinpoint it down. And that helps me get the kill right there. So this is a video about bloom, uh, pretty much how it works, how you can use it to your advantage and how to reduce it as much as possible so that you can be able to hit all your shots and get a lot more kills in Warzone. So at the top comment of every single video, I do have all my socials if you want to support me on different social medias. And then I do hands-on coaching, $20 per hour and $25 for PC, where I help you get better one-on-one -on -one and teach you a lot of things that I can't really teach you in these videos. And then I also offer content creation advice, where I pretty much go over how I became a content creator, how I blew up on YouTube, a lot of strategies, trial and error things that I've had. And then I also apply that to your own uh, content creation specifically, which is $20 
for a lifetime i might up the price once i start getting a lot more people but pretty much i will be dedicated to helping you as a content creator grow and just helping you learn new strategies or just learn previous strategies that i have done myself that have been proven to work and also things that i tried that may work and may not but there's no one guaranteed that you will blow up as a content creator it's just a lot of the things that i have tried myself and just what seemed to work